Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is June 21st, 2017, the summer solstice. If, for those of you that don't know, it is the longest day of the year. Uh, from this point on, we start losing daylight. So how exciting is that? So now we start rushing towards winter again. I can hardly wait. So you can see the sun is out beautifully and uh, it's absolutely gorgeous, uh, gorgeous, gorgeous day out today. I went uh, this morning, got the next post, and I got that in, and so that's all in there nice and solid now, so uh, it's going to be, you know, like I said, we're not going to put the last post in until we move these panels, so the three panels are going to go on this side, and one panel on this side once we put the four up, and uh, so one of the next fun chores is going to be, like I said, is digging that trench out. So that'll be exciting. I can hardly wait for that. But uh, so, you know, that'll, that'll take care of itself. So anyway, today I wanted to talk about the topic of the video today. Big news, obviously, in the press and everything, and everybody's talking about it. Yellowstone National Park with the uh, super volcano under Yellowstone. Uh, recent swarm of uh, earthquakes. There was more yesterday. It was like another 30 or 40 yesterday. And it just keeps on having uh, swarms. The highest swarm, or highest earthquake they had was a 4.5 a couple days ago. I think it was on the 16th, was the 4.5. Uh, the ground deformation continues to rise, which means that uh, the pressure is pushing up and stuff like that. So let's talk about Yellowstone. That's actually been one of my uh, things that I've watched for years. And uh, what, what is going on recently has me really uh, a lot more interested because they had uh, one of the science uh, airplanes that they have that does um, infrared and stuff like that and can tell the temperatures and all that type of stuff was flying over. They uh, averted it and had it fly over Yellowstone. And uh, so I thought that was quite interesting. So that tells me that they're concerned as well. Now, so let's talk about Yellowstone. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Okay, Yellowstone has gone off three times in the past. Uh, the last time was 640,000 years ago. It generally goes off once every 600,000 years, I believe, is what they say. Okay, so obviously it's overdue. So it's not a matter of if Yellowstone ever goes off. It's a matter of when Yellowstone goes off. And uh, here's my thought on all of that together, okay? So uh, realistically, if Yellowstone goes off, now I am about 1,200 miles away from Yellowstone National Park. So how will it affect me? You're going to think, Ed, you're so far away, you're going to be fine, okay? Um, actually, what they're saying is we'd actually probably get like about an inch of ash um, from the, uh, you know, everything coming out of the volcano. We would actually, even here, uh, 1,200 miles away, we would probably get at least an inch of ash, okay? So, now well, that's not so bad, you say. No, it's, it's not that bad. But the worst part is, it's not a matter, okay, within 100 miles of Yellowstone, everything is toast. I mean, 100 mile circumference, forget about it. If you're in that 100 mile radius when Yellowstone goes, you might as well just tuck your head between your legs and kiss your behind goodbye, okay? Uh, then out from there, you're talking about a lot, a lot of ash. And when I say a lot of ash, I'm talking five, six, seven feet or better of ash, okay? Uh, it would make Pompeii look like kindergarten. <laughs> but anyway, so you think, okay, well, Ed, I'm over in Europe. It's not going to affect me over there. Well, actually, yes, it will, because I'll tell you why it's going to affect you over there. Yellowstone's going to put so much stuff up into the upper atmosphere that it's going to put us into what they call a nuclear winter. Now, that's going to take about six weeks. So you got about a six-week window once Yellowstone actually does go, okay? But it's going to take about six weeks, and then we're going to be in what they call a nuclear winter. So it's going to have so much stuff up in the upper atmosphere, it's going to block the sunshine from hitting the earth and it's going to cool the planet and it'll put us in basically three years at least three years of winter okay that's the entire planet guys that's not just the United States I mean the United States is going to get the full brunt of it of course but uh, it will affect everybody okay it will affect the entire world so the last major uh, eruption of a super volcano was Toba Toba went off 70,000 years ago. And they've scientifically figured it out when that went off 70,000 years ago. The entire 
population of the planet went down to 10,000 people. Now, don't you think about that for a second. We have, what, six or seven billion people on the planet? You know, so as a prepper, how would that affect me? You think, well, you know what, you're pretty prepped up up there. I'm not prepped up for three years uh, to be able to withstand three years of anything like that. I mean, I don't have three years worth of food. Because what's going to happen is once we go into that nuclear winter, your trees are going to die, which means your animals are going to die because there's no vegetation for them to eat. Uh, you know, there is no crops growing unless you have things underground, you know, and have something to that effect. It would be absolutely devastating. Um, it is a game changer, guys. Yellowstone is a game changer. So what are the chances of it going off now? I mean, I honestly don't know, to be honest with you. Uh, it's something to definitely keep an eye on. The government is not going to tell us that an impending eruption is going to happen because it would cause cause mass panic. People would absolutely go nuts because it's it's like I said, it's a game changer. It is the end of the world as we know it for a very very long time. So you know those are things that you would have to think about. Um, you would have to have a lot of supplies. You would have to basically try to be underground if you could be uh, for the start of it anyway uh, all the uh, like I said we would get an inch of ash here well if you breathe in that ash and it gets in your lungs it actually acts as concrete okay and it will solidify and you will die of respiratory disease I mean it's not this is not a joke you know um, it is a very very scary thing um, and, and here's the best part like I said this is a not, a, not a matter of if this is a matter of when. Now, it could probably wait another 10 to 20,000 years. I mean, I don't know. But the thing is, at some point, Yellowstone is going to go. Um, with the increased activity that's going on out there right now, and the way they changed things, I think it was in 2014, the, they took some of the monitors out. Um, so that kind of, I thought, was kind of interesting as well. I don't think we're being given all the information, again, because when Yellowstone goes they're never going to tell us ahead of time because people will absolutely panic and nobody will go to work and they'll don't know they, people will just run around like chickens with their head cuts off you know their head cut off so it's a very very scary thing to think about okay so um, be aware of it obviously keep an eye on what's going on they have the observatory page and if you go there and it kind of gives you an indication of what's going on as far as the earthquakes and stuff like that but again, I don't know if they're giving us the full brunt of the information. But uh, if they're not, we could be in big trouble, you know. I mean, Yellowstone is no joke, you know. I mean, absolutely no joke. So uh, it's a matter of uh, neighbors rubbing his truck. Um, it's a matter of just, you know, taking care of business. Again, you know, if you prep, keep on prepping. Do the best you possibly can. Like I said, you know, guys, I mean, it's just one scenario of something that could happen, obviously. Um, I'm not saying that Yellowstone is going to go and it's going to go right away and everybody watch out. But, you know, you just, you never know. And so, there's Soxie over here in the shade. Um, but like I said, it's a, it's a definitely a scary situation. And it's something to keep an eye on. So, uh, you know, I know there's, like I said, there's a lot of talk about it right now, and is it going to go? When is it going to go? Like I said, even the major scientists have no idea when it's going to go. It's a sleeping giant, and it's actually not really sleeping, because if you look at, like, Old Faithful and, and everything else, that entire Yellowstone Park, there's, like, it's um, basically you could drive from 50 miles, basically, and you are still in the caldera. That's how wide it is, okay? So we're talking about a massive, massive amount and uh, they've just decided, you know, figured out that the uh, carbon underneath uh, under is a huge, huge area, much bigger than they thought. So, you know, once the pressure gets enough, it's going to go. And when it goes, like I said, it's not going to be pretty. Uh, I hope to God it doesn't go in our lifetime, to be honest with you, um, because that would be a real bad thing. It would be, that'd be the worst case scenario times ten. Let's put it like that. I mean, you think of uh, anything else times 10 that's how bad it would be you know and then think of the uh, ramifications from that now okay so Yellowstone goes it's killing off a lot of the population we have all these nuclear plants in the country they'll melt down now you got that issue to deal with I mean it's just you know 
it would be bad, guys. It would be really, really, really bad. You can't fly in it because it, it it'll uh, kills the engines in the airplanes, and uh, they'll drop the airplanes out of the sky in a heartbeat. So it's a it's a frightening thing. It's uh, something, like I said, to be aware of, keep an eye on. Um, like I said, I know there's been a lot of talk about it. Uh, you know, it is something, like I said, it's, there's no reason to panic. Uh, panic is not the way you deal with anything. Uh, you just continue to do what you do. Keep prepping, live your life day to day, and, uh, you know, and continue to get ready. And uh, that's, that's all you can do. I mean, that is all you can do. Uh, so anyway, now I wanted to talk about something else real quick. So um, we had gone to the store yesterday, and uh, we had bought like I said more food to put away so I vacuum sealed that all up last night so we're adding that into the food stocks just to put away stuff and so that was awesome as well so a lot more food put up which like I said I will just continue to put food away and put food away and put food away uh, that is the only way that we're gonna make it guys you gotta have a group and you gotta have a lot of food you gotta have access to water and, uh, you know, if you can have a light source, that's awesome. If you don't have a light source of some sort, you know, d do the best you can. Uh, you know, there's a lot, a lot of scary stuff going on out there in the world. And uh, Yellowstone is just part of it, okay? So keep focused. Keep doing what you got to do. And like I said, don't panic. Just keep going along and uh, you'll be fine, okay? If it goes, there's nothing we're going to be able to do about it anyway, okay? So all you can do ahead of time is get as prepared as you possibly can to give you any kind of advantage that you can have. That is the biggest key. That's the biggest key to prepping, I think, that a lot of people don't understand the advantage. We're looking for that advantage. So always look for the advantage. Do the things that you have to do. Be smart, okay? So anyway, guys, listen, I'm going to jump off of here for now. Uh, it's, you know, Like I said, today is Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Yes, today is Wednesday. So um, I hope everybody's doing well. And the days are starting to get shorter after today. So, fun, fun. Uh, the solar will be up soon. The frame is pretty much ready for what we're going to do for right now. With getting that last post in today. And like I said, now the next thing is is, is getting the, um, the, the uh, trench dug. Laying the wire down. Getting the other uh, 150 Classic hooked up into, the, into uh, to my system and uh, get the get the panels up and get them going get us more power coming in so anyway i'm going to jump off of here and i will talk to you tomorrow remember guys hug and kiss the ones you love tell them every day make sure they know how you feel because tomorrow is not guaranteed we never know what's going to happen and remember guys it's std it's one step at a time one thing at a time and one day at a time whatever you're trying to do whatever goals you're trying to reach you can do it i mean i'm a great example of that i mean i am a great example of that um, I am not an expert in a lot of things, and I'll be the first to admit it, you know. But uh, we are getting things done up here, and it's coming along, and we have a nice little home now. And uh, it's been a lot of work. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Drive on. You guys will be fine, okay? Talk to you tomorrow. Prep and went off for now.